here comes Jawan Howard swinging. And they immediately like, nope. They're like, kill the music. Get back to the broadcast. Let's get this on TV. Um, I was very surprised to see that. And the only reason I say that is I don't know Jawan Howard that well, but as a coach, at no point do you take a swing at another coach. There is there is v- nothing on the table for me that you can go, well, he said this, and he was pissed about the timeout and all this other stuff. Fine. You're setting an example for your kids. You never, ever, ever take up hands against another coach. That threw yeah. me. Well, he was just mad that he didn't have a mask on during COVID. So this- <laughs> <laughs> is that where we are now? Is this what it is? It's going to be the mask fight? It's the mask fight. You know, the, the crazy part is about it. It's like he, when he bring the finger out and start pointing the finger, and then he's just, you know, I think what pissed him off is when he grabbed him. And, when you know, you know, yeah, you never let a man grab you when you talk like you. You, I said, Juwan was mad for pointing the finger, but then the coach grabbed him. And then the problem was when the big coach ran over there. Oh, you want some of this? He should have yeah. said no, but he didn't no. say no. Right. <laughs> and yeah. that's right. and that's where the problem happened, man. And yeah, it was instead, like, he gave him the DX. The- <laughs> The, the shop, <laughs> which, by the way, got completely overrun in this whole thing. And that was excellent execution. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was, it was timing on point, like an excellent work, my friend. You know, excellent. And, but my whole thing is because because of that, now it could have, you know, now your players start fighting. And right. one of his players, you, it, they only show a little bit of boy. He's throwing them hands, boy. He like, Burr. but I always feel bad because the stands are right there and then it can spill over into the stands and stuff like that. And so, you know, you, you hate that that happens to Juwan because you meet Juwan, nice guy, really cool guy, you know, coach that is alma mater. And then this happens and, you know, it's, I think it boils down to frustration. Think about right. how good they were last year. This year they suck. They're not going to probably make the NCAA. Now he's suspended for the rest of the season. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a black eye on that program now, you know, now parents can be like, I don't know if I want to send my child there because, you know, he can't keep his cool. And then you might say, oh, I'm going to send my child there because he fights for his player. You know, yeah. which way are you going to go with this? Yeah, I definitely think uh, it's not a good look. And, you know, I get it. You know, in the heat of the moment when you don't like a coach making a call or you, you see a call that a coach makes is disrespectful. You know, obviously, I think the coach is trying to go there with well, his – what he said was the coach is trying to explain to him why he did what he did. And obviously Juwan wasn't trying to hear it. And I guess he was saying, you know, you know, all right, I'm gonna pay you back. I'm gonna get you back. And anytime, you know, it starts to get physical like that and emotions start to flare. And I mean, this is not a justification at all for it because it's wrong. Um, but you know, you start putting your hands on folks and you know, putting your finger in folks faces, you know, a lot of people don't take too kindly to that. And so, you know, once one thing led to another and you got, like you said, you got the, he didn't, Jawan didn't throw a punch. I see a lot of people in the media say, it's an open slap. There's an in between a slap and a, karate and a punch. <laughs> I need a lot of media members to get the narrative correct. Oh, he threw a punch. You don't know the difference between a slap and a punch. If you don't let somebody slap you and let somebody yeah, punch you. Yeah, but that's nitpicky, man. That's yeah. a little nitpicky for me. You you, you threw hands, whether yeah. it was an open-handed okay. slap or a punch. You yeah. still threw but hands I'm, at another coach. You're right, but I, I'm a man of facts. I would rather you to punch me than slap me because slapping me, you make me feel like a little bitch. Uh, <laughs> but then you punch me, I feel like a man. Uh, you just pimp slap me. <laughs> nah, it wasn't no know, regular slap. Now, yeah, that's a big old hand. Yeah, but what I, I got to say about this, you know, I've never been a fan of, you know, when the game's over, you do this, you walk off the court. I know everybody's like, oh, it's, you know, you have to go by and, you know, shake hands. I'm not a fan of that. I get, I like, even now when the NBA players, you, they spend 10 minutes on the court talking to each other, shaking his head. No, dude, we ain't friends, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to kick your ass. I got to punch you in the face. I'm punching you in the face. So I don't understand all this coming together and talking and everything. So it reminds me of, uh, of college and it could have saved me in college. You know, we were playing Vanderbilt and the little guard from Vanderbilt, I don't remember his name. He got me good with an elbow. And that little motherfucker avoided me the whole game. Because everybody know, if you fuck with me, I'm going to get your ass back. And I went the whole game. I couldn't get him back. But you know, <laughs> at the end of the game, the benches have to cross. And I had the ball in my hand. And when we crossed, I took the ball. 
and shoved it in his stomach as hard as I can. I said, hey, you take this home, little motherfucker. And we all squared up and like we was getting ready to fight. And so we didn't we didn't come to blows because they kind of separate us. So at the end of the game, the Vanderbilt coach comes over to the locker room and is, is yelling at Wimp. And Wimp comes in and yell at me. And I says, first of all, let me tell you something. If you're going to let this motherfucker come in our locker room and talk shit to us, I got a problem with you. We should be whooping his ass right now because he's in our locker room. Mm. And needless to say, I got suspended for the next day because <laughs> Wimp was like, your attitude is detrimental to the team. I says, fuck it, I'm out. I said, I can go pro if I want to. It's my junior year, so I'm out. And that's, that's why I don't like when the bench is crossed because shit happens in the game. And I know for a fact, if you got certain players that are trying to get that get back, oh, they're going to find a way to get that get back because that was our second time playing Vanderbilt. We weren't going to see him again unless we played him in the SEC tournament. So I had to get my revenge at that moment. 